one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it because you can. From CBS News, we get this update. Where a former Dallas police officer convicted of murdering Botham Jean in his apartment six years ago has been denied parole, Jean's family said last Thursday. Amber Geiger, who shot and killed the innocent man, Botham Jean, in September of 2018, won't be eligible for consideration of parole until October of 2026, said Allison Jean, that's Botham's mother. She said, My family feels a sense of relief having gone through the process and made a strong petition for denial. She said, so news coming in that the board considered our petition is a sense of elation, a sense of relief. Geiger was up for parole on what would have been Botham John's 33rd birthday. Quote, she needs to serve her entire 10-year term, which is well below a sentence that one receives for murder, said Allison John. She said, murder of an innocent man in the comfort of his home, doing nothing wrong. Now, the Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles made the decision. And Geiger, a Dallas police officer at the time, told authorities she confused Botham John's apartment for her own. Her body-worn camera was not recording during the shooting because she was off duty at the time. <clears throat> Geiger was convicted of murder and sentenced to 10 years in prison in 2019. She appealed the conviction, but she lost her appeal two years ago. So two years ago, she lost the appeal. Now she went up for parole. She's denied. She's eligible to go up again in 2026. Um, I mean, she's only got, what, a little over four years left anyway. So in October of 2026, if she's paroled, then they cut two two years off. But his mother's right. I mean, 10 years for just murdering a guy in his apartment that's in there. And what for some of you that go, I don't even know this story. What happened was apparently this Dallas police officer, Amber Geiger, comes home. Her apartment was his apartment's here. Her apartment was the next floor down. And apparently she got on his floor and went into the apartment, which was his, and she saw a black man in her apartment, pulled her gun and shot him because he was in her apartment. Only to find out her apartment was downstairs. And so she was convicted. And that's the one where the judge, when the judge sentenced her, walked over and hugged her. Oh, <laughs> It's okay, little girl. You only got 10 years. I don't know what she said to her, but she hugged her. Remember, that's the one. And, uh, of course, she was all crying. And the judge said, I feel for you. I don't feel for her. She murdered an innocent man in his apartment. But the judge hugs her. <laughs> you know, with the judge. Now, and I never thought to look into this, but this is just a question. Maybe somebody might have the answer. But has this judge hugged, ever hugged anybody else? Has this judge ever said, you know, I feel for you to any criminal? Well, Amber Geiger's a criminal, but she's a former cop. So I'm talking non-law enforcement. Has this judge ever, ever hugged any of them? Probably not. I don't know. But that's the story. That's the one where she went into the wrong apartment and shot the guy and the judge hugged her and all that. She got 10 years. She was crying in the courtroom. and She said, I was tired. I worked a double shift and I was just out of it. And I get being tired. No, look, when I was in the Army, there was more than a few occasions where I worked 80 to 90 hours straight. Like, no time off, just straight, you know, especially in field training exercises out in the woods. You know, I worked, one time I worked close to 101 hours straight. I'm not joking. I was so freaking tired. That's called sleep deprivation. Uh, when I was on guard duty, <clears throat> this was back in 85, 86, 86, 87. 
Um, I was on guard duty and I got sleep deprivation. So I get that. You know, I get being so freaking tired. You don't know where you're, you know, you're, you know, but. The end of the day, sleep deprivation aside, because that was her excuse. You killed a guy, an innocent man in his apartment, just doing nothing. The door opens. He's like, who the hell's coming into my apartment? And you shoot him. <clears throat> Ten years. Ten years. You'll be out in a little over four. Because you're getting out in 2029. Unless it was time served, you know, 2028. I don't know. I don't know when she's getting out. But soon, 